Hello and welcome back to this uh, part two of this tutorial about uh, conversion of FSX scenery to explain. This time we will look at the overlay editor, how to edit our scenery. I have started up overlay editor and now I will load up our converted flight tamper San Martin scenery. Okay. Now the scenery loads and then we will look at some of the issues in the last tutorial and we'll correct these. Okay, the scenery is loading. Okay, just click OK here. And then we will, first of all, we will look at the at the Princess Juliana Airport TN TNCM and uh, we will correct this uh, as the first air airport. Okay, moving to Princess Juliana Airport. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, the airport is loaded and um, okay, first of all, one issue that uh, we didn't look at uh, in the first tutorial is these weird dots uh, placed outside the airport of uh, Princess Juliana. As you can see here, these dots have to be deleted uh, or else they will show up in, in the water while approaching the airport. Okay, just uh, click on, just click and then click delete. Okay, and uh, also these weird shadows, just click them and uh, press delete to to remove them. Okay, now they're gone. Oh, sorry. Undo. Okay, we'll look at uh, some of the issues. As you can see here, the gray trees, they show up uh, as yeah, weird white and red trees because the texture uh, has not been found. So these are textures that uh, could not be, be loaded. So you have to select every tree and then press delete to delete it, as you can see here. I press delete. Okay, now it's gone. And you have to do this for every texture that has not been loaded. As you can see, there are a lot of them and it can take some time. And uh, while doing it, it can be pretty hard to not select some other objects uh, in the scenery. Okay, press delete. Okay, now the trees uh, down here are gone. As you can see, there are a lot of other trees. Just click every one of them and delete them by pressing delete. Okay, and as you may have found out, you can move around the scenery by clicking the mouse uh, or by pressing the arrow buttons on the keyboard. Okay, I think you I think you can figure it out. Now we will look at the 
the line that we also checked in the, in the last tutorial. Here you can see the line. We have to move this texture over so it will uh, align better with uh, the other texture. Okay, as you can see here. Well, they're pretty much aligned now. And you will also have to do this uh, for Okay, for the texture up here, okay, moving it, and you can move it by selecting it and then pressing A, W, S, D on the keyboard to, to move it left, up, down, and right. So there are, there are some key combinations that have to be known here. Deleting more trees here. Okay, and we'll we will continue until every tree without texture has been removed. Okay, let's let's move on. Okay, we have finished uh, deleting our trees with our textures, and uh, we'll now move on to Sabre. TNCS, Se select the airport and press OK. All right, we're moving to Sabre. All right, there are not so many issues, but uh, some trees here that has to be deleted. Again, just press the tree and press delete to delete it. Now, as you may remember, this hill uh, had some shininess to it that we wanted to edit. And uh, first of all, we need to know what the object name is. So we press uh, this hill. And uh, as you can see over here, the object is called Seba Terrain Seba and uh, then Saber Terrain, Saber Runway, we will edit. Go to the directory where the scenery has been put after conversion, and uh, as you can see here, these are the files. Right-click and edit with Notepad or WordPad. Okay, we have opened the file now. As you can see, there is a line called ATTR Shiny Ratio. Change it to 0, 0.0. Okay. And then make another line called ATTR Hard, which means that the object will be hard. And uh, this will do so that uh, the airplane will stand on top of the object and not uh, cannot go through it uh, like we saw in the last tutorial. OK, you do the same with the hill terrain. OK, go to the bottom of this file. OK, down here you can see the same lines, ATTR shiny ratio, set that to 0, 0.0, and another line, ATTR hard again, and then save the file. OK. Now the hill will not have this shininess to it, and uh, the plane will be on top of it instead of under it. OK, and then you go to St. Bart's and uh, delete the same trees that um, we did here at Sabre and, and at uh, St. Martin. Another thing we will do is to add exclusion zones for objects. As you can see, I have chosen exclusions to the right and uh, now make a exclusion of objects in this zone. And this is because I use uh, OpenStreetMaps. And in this area, and now I make an exclusion of facades. 
it means that in this zone, OpenStreetMaps buildings and so on will not show. Okay, and then I save my new scenery after I edit it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Next time we will look at the airport editing with uh, World Editor. Thank you for watching.